today we're going to illustrate how to assemble one of the newer style drive wheel assemblies for the truck tire sidewall remover model TTSR 5-1. As you can see, the newer model has got a total of five drive teeth on it. The hub is slightly different than the older style, the, the earlier models. It's got just a single plate welded to the hub that connects to the main drive shaft. To assemble this, I'm going to start from what we would call the top of the drive wheel assembly down to the bottom, which would be this surface right here. Now we start with a normal, what we call a normal drive wheel. It's got all the teeth on it. It's got the six hole pattern and then the hole for the main drive shaft and the keyway. So that is considered the top, which would be this plate right here. We then have what we call a cutting disc. Not to be confused with a cutting blade. The cutting disc helps during the cutting process and it's where the blade meshes with the two cutting discs. We've got two of these. Again, they've got the six bolt hole pattern with the 1.5 inch diameter main drive shaft through hole. And we've got two of these as seen here with a spacer disc in between them. And that's what creates the gap where the cutting blade on the truck tire sidewall remover inserts into during the cutting operation. After we go through the first drive wheel, the cutting disc, the spacer, the second cutting disc, we then have another drive wheel bolted up with a second drive wheel and then we have the special drive wheel which as you can see is slightly different than these normal ones. This drive wheel is manufactured by us and it's got a slightly different design to it because in order for it to fit within the frame structure of the machine, we had to do an outer ring which goes around the disc on the hub. And that's how that works, that's how that meshes. So you just have to make sure you put the recess side like this relative to the hub. So let's go ahead, I'm just gonna stack this all together to illustrate how this goes. These shims come with every drive wheel assembly and they go like this on either side of this spacer disc that's inside of here. It doesn't matter what side you put these on, just as long as you keep all three shims on one side or the other. Don't, don't do this, you have to do all three on the same side. So either way you do it, it doesn't matter. Just make sure they're all on the same side. So here we go, I'm just gonna stack this all together now from the bottom up to show how it goes. We have the hub as such, illustrated right here. We have the special drive wheel assembly, like that, okay. So what you want to do is put the hub portion through the main hole on the special drive wheel, the drive disc, and you want to line up the hole that lines up with the keyway in this hub with 
the mark that comes onto this special drive toothed disc. So you just have to line those up together. So that'll go like that. Then we have a, a regular drive wheel on top of there like that. Again, line up the keyway. We have another drive wheel. Again, lining up the keyway. We have one cutting disc. Spacer. Shims. Second cutting disc. want to make sure that you get all the holes lined up. Sometimes the shims will shift on you while you're placing this disc on here, so you just have to make sure they're all going to line up. And then the last drive disc is on top. And that's the full assembly right there. We use six grade eight, three-eighths inch bolts to bolt this entire assembly together. And this is what we end up with in the end.